Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the World of Juice Hoops channel, and welcome back to the Los Angeles Clippers Legends Fantasy Draft Series here on NBA 2K23. We return, and we are in the All-Star Weekend. Well, we're about to be in the All-Star Weekend for season number three. Hope you guys are excited for it. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club. We got to play this. Well, we're going to simulate this game against the Grizzlies, and then we're going to see All-Star Draft stuff. Then we're going to go to All-Star Weekend and do like three-point contest, see if there's anything interesting there. Dunk contest, yada, yada, yada. You know the drill. So let's simulate this game against the Grizzlies, and we will take the W, 153-122. Iverson dropped 35. Tatum with 20. Jordan with 22, 6, and 8. Jokic with 18, 5, and 16. You love to see it. All right, it's all-star draft time. It has been announced. Let's go see the teams. So we're going to not pick anybody. It's Dr. J and Big O. I'm not going to pick the draft. I'm going to uh, simulate the draft. Draft is uh, progress. Hold on. Yep, here we go. Auto draft remaining picks. Yes, sir. So... Here are the teams for Team Dr. J. It's LeBron, Larry Bird. Why did I say it like that? Larry Bird, <laughs> T-Mac, Ray Allen, Magic Johnson, Kareem, Dominique, Dwayne Wade, Scotty, Carl Malone, David Thompson. And then for Team Oscar, it is Wilt, Isaiah, Elgin, Bob McAdoo, Walt Frazier, Kevin Garnett, Vince Carter, Clyde, Havlicek, Wes Unseld, Gilbert Arenas. So we don't have any All-Stars? No Michael Jordan? No Bill Russell, no Allen Iverson. Huh, so I guess we don't have to play the All-Star game since there's none of our guys in it. That makes this episode a little bit easier. <laughs> All right, very interesting. That's your All-Star teams, ladies and gentlemen. That is your All-Star teams. Let's simulate past these next couple of games, see if we can continue to win. We lose against the Timberwolves, and we lose against the Blazers. Of course, we do. So the Clippers receive Luka Doncic and Ron Harper, and the Grizzlies receive Jokic and Michael Red. Now you have my attention. I'm not going to trade Jokic, but if Luka's on the table, I'm not going to say no to that. We're going to have a, a quick little conversation with Mr. Luka Doncic. I mean, I didn't expect this to be part of the plan, but if they're just going to feed me Luka Doncic, I'm going to do everything in my power to possibly bring him into the team. So... You're asking me to give away a valuable asset in Luka Doncic. We'd have to give up Damian Lillard. We'd probably also... They wanted Michael Red, but I don't want to give you Michael Red. So I could throw in... Uh, let's see. We don't necessarily need Jeremy Lin because we have James Harden who can play point guard. Jalen Brown can go over to shooting guard. It's not like we don't have any depth. So we don't need Lynn Sanity on the team. But I like having Jeremy Lynn on the team because he's fun to have. But it's Luka Doncic we're talking about here. It's Luka Doncic. We have three first-round picks that we're probably not going to use. So I'll give you a first-round pick from the Jazz. And we're probably going to have to throw in Jeremy Lynn. It's probably going to have to be the, the deal. Okay, so that means they have too many players on the team. I don't want, no, I don't want George Gervin. Who's your worst player that I actually would care about? Tyrese Proctor, I guess, would be a guy. <laughs> uh, they don't have anybody that I would want. Tyrese Proctor's making $47.98 million. Are we having a laugh right now? Sweet baby Jesus. Oscar Tshwebi? I don't know how to pronounce his name. He's not on a full contract, so we can't bring him up. Or we can't trade for him. So maybe Jeremy Lin's not on the table. Maybe it's just good old draft picks and Damian Lillard. Maybe that's a possibility. 2027 first round pick. So three first round picks, three first round picks plus Lillard is not enough to get Luka Doncic. I mean, they're the ones who offered me Luka. It's not like I'm just coming in asking for Luka straight off the bat. Four first round picks plus Damian Lillard brings us in Luka Doncic. Oh my, wow. I did not see that coming at all. We're going to start Luka over Allen Iverson because it's Luka. And I know Allen Iverson's not having a great year, but 
Luka deserves to start, I would think. So it's now Luka, Jordan, Tatum, Davis, and Jokic. And then Iverson, Bill Russell, Dwight Howard, James Harden, Jalen Brown, Michael Red, all those boys off the bench. All right. That is something I did not expect to happen, but they offered it to me. I didn't just go to the Grizzlies and ask him for Luka. They, they threw him out there. Yeah, they wanted Jokic in return, but we were able to uh, convince them with a bunch of draft picks that they were going to give Damian Lillard a try. How did he do in his first game? So Jokic had 20. Luka in his first game had 12, 7, and 6. In the loss against the Hornets, he had 20, 10, and 7. Okay. Starting to get a feel for the game. And then he had 12, 1, and 7. So he hasn't had the greatest of seasons or the greatest of uh, games since Breen brought over here. But we are 39 and 19. We are battling with the Nuggets. They are three and a half games above us. They've uh, dominated as we've kind of squandered here with our last couple of games. But now it's time for the All-Star stuff. Do we have anybody in the Rising Stars? There's Tyrese Proctor. He could have been part of it. We do have Victor. Victor Van Banyama is on the world team so that's pretty fun uh i don't really want to jump in and play this game so we'll just simulate it and we'll see what happens here simulate the game 107 120 the stars or the uh the usa team wins and what did victor do in the game where is he at where is victor at? oh that's team usa there it is 13 9 and 2 in 34 minutes for victor all right, that's not a great performance, but it's not bad either. So the three-point contest is Cliff Hagen, Ray Allen, Mark Price, Glenn, Glenn Rice, Chauncey Billups, and LeBron. Very weird. I'm going to be Ray Allen, and we're going to jump in and play the three-point contest. Let's get it. Welcome to All-Star Action, everyone. Kevin Harlan, happy to be here with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. Tonight, we present the fast-paced and high-pressured Mountain Dew three-point contest. It's going to be a great night. And even though this is an exhibition event, plenty of competition. You guys might recall Harry Bird asking the other contestants, who's coming in second? Yeah, a little trash talking never hurts, and Larry Legend, one of the best to ever do it. Five racks with two balls stationed out deep in the do zone. 70 seconds to shoot 27 shots in all. All right, so here we go. Cliff Hagen had 22 in his first round. He hit three out of his five money ball rack. And now here comes one of the greatest shooters of all time, Mr. Jesus Shuttleworth. We're going to go number three for our all money ball rack. I feel like by then I'll be pretty warmed up. I hope at least. Uh, that's a bad first shot. Okay. That wasn't even close. There we go. Let's start to get warmed up a little bit. That one should fall. It doesn't. I guess we're going to have to get almost perfect on our releases. The money balls look really cool, though. They must have changed them from the red, white, and blue. It's a nice addition. Uh, okay, Ray. Let's figure it out here. It looks like we're going to have to get greens or they're not going to go in. Yeah. We're going to have to figure out the greens or they're not going to go in at all. Here's the money ball from deep. The Mountain Dew ball. That one's good. All right, we're at the money ball rack. Oh, now we're starting to find a rhythm. We're in Cleveland for this All-Star game. That's pretty cool. Oh, we're starting to find a rhythm, baby. There it is. That's a full money ball rack plus the do ball. Back-to-back do balls? Oh, we have not missed. We're in a rhythm. We've already beat Hagen at 22. And I have not missed in a minute. I told you I'd find a rhythm. Oh, I finally missed the money ball. That was a streak and a half. That was crazy. Oh, I didn't even finish the round, but I got 26. That should be good enough to move on, I would think, especially because we hit all the money balls. That was huge. So Mark Price is up. How is he going to do? How is Mark Price going to do in this game? He hits 25, so we're still in the lead. 26 is the big one. He missed one of his money ball rack. Glenn Rice is up now, averaging 15 on the season. Having an okay year. He gets 19. We are still in first place. Sitting pretty. Sitting very pretty. Here comes Chauncey. Chauncey. And he hits 24. Still in first place. I'm feeling good. And now it's Braun. Averaging 23, 5, and 8. Well, technically 23, 6, and 9 if you want to round up. And he drops 29. LeBron James. Okay, he's the leader in the clubhouse now. 
I didn't think he was going to be dropping 29. So it's going to be us, LeBron, and Mark Price. Yeah, for the finals. Here's for the championship. Mark Price in round two. He leads us off, and he shoots 35. Okay, I don't know if we're going to be able to beat that. We're going to have to go a lot quicker than what we did last time, and we're going to have to find that rhythm a lot sooner. 35. He almost had a perfect round. We're going to have Moneyball Rack on Rack 4. Let's see if we can do that. Hopefully we get to it. All right, let's, uh, we're, we're, we cannot miss too many if we want to get to 35. And we got to be quick. And we've already missed two out of the first rack. Okay. That might be a miss. Oh, that's a big miss. That's a big miss. I think we've lost. I really think we've lost this one. We'll see what LeBron does after us. Oh, I missed another one. I've missed four shots. Come on, Juice. Figure the crap out. There's a big time do ball. That's a miss. Yeah, Ray Allen's shot is so weird because you have to get a green or it's going to miss. That's so crazy. That was a horrible rack. We're not beating Mark Price. Mark Price might have just won it here. And I missed the do ball as well. That's the first do ball I've missed. Here comes the big money ball rack. And I missed the first one. I'm running out of time too. I don't even think I'm going to finish. I got to step things up. I'm going to miss that money ball. I'm going to hit that one. Yeah, we're not going to finish this round, or this rack. One final shot, 21. Man, that was horrible. I made so many shots there at the end. We didn't even finish the rack. We still had two balls left. And LeBron James, can he get 36 to win it? If not, Mark Price is going to take home the three-point contest championship. He only got 15. Mark Price killed it. He deserved it. Mark Price deserves it with 35. That's impressive. Yeah, he, he blew us away. Absolutely blew us away. Congratulations to Mr. Price. You are the three-point contest champion. You deserved it. You got hot when you needed to get hot. He did it. And now we go to the dunk contest. Who's going to be in the dunk contest? It's Ja Morant, Anthony Edwards, Jalen Green, and Paolo. Very interesting. We're going to be Ja, and we're going to see if we can win this one. We are up first in the dunk contest, and I'm just going to try to go crazy. That's a different uh, dunk animation than I expected. But that one should be good. Okay, I've missed a couple. Missed a couple. Let's try this. There we go. Okay, uh, that's a dunk. I don't know what it's going to be. I don't know why Ja did that celebration. That was a weird celebration. It's a nice one-handed dunk. It's a 31. I don't think that's going to be anything that's gonna win us a, a, a title but hey it could it could work anthony edwards playing for the suns he's gonna get can i pass it fast forward i can't fast forward he's gonna get through the legs okay that's probably a better dunk than what we had i'd have to say that's probably a better dunk and he got a 42 okay all right i got you now it's time for jalen green the young gun what's he got so he got some hop in his step. Here he comes. Ooh, that was a nice dunk. That was a real nice dunk. We'll see what we got here. It is going to be a 36. So right now we're in last place. We'll see what Paolo has. What's Paolo also on the Suns? Him and Anthony Edwards on the same team. Very interesting. What's he got up his sleeve? Paolo, that's just a basic NBA dunk <laughs> that was just a basic in-game dunk that literally every NBA player can do and that's gonna get him a 25 yikes Paolo what are you doing if that would have got him a 50 I would have blown away so we're not out of this we just have to hope that Anthony Edwards has a really bad score and we have a really really good score so let's uh let's get this started uh th that's not what I wanted to do okay you didn't see that you didn't see that because that one was pretty good. All right. Is that going to get higher than a 31? I hope so. Uh, 30. <laughs> a 32. 
We have to hope that Anthony Edwards gets like a five if we want to have any chance of winning this one. And so does Jalen Green. He has to get like a, a zero. So what is Anthony Edwards going to do? That's a missed dunk. Okay, that's going to that's gonna help us. That's probably going to lower his score. I would hope so, at least. He should have drilled that, though. Oh, that's a, that's a pretty good dunk. But it was coming after a miss. So is that going to knock it down? It better. That is a 30. Okay, so he's got, what, a 62? And we've got a 63? So if Jalen Green... We could sneak this out if Jalen Green doesn't have a good dunk. He needs to have something in the 20s. Something in the 20s. Ah, oh, that was a 360. That could give him a good enough score to win it. Don't do it. Don't give him a good enough score to win. It's a 41. Jalen Green wins the dunk contest. Unbelievable. I think we're going to finish second, but that is a crazy dunk. Or a crazy score for not that good of a dunk, I should say. Paolo, if he gets a 50, <laughs> that's just a basic NBA. Paolo's just doing NBA dunks. He's just doing in-game dunks. Why does he have the NBA logo on the back of his calf? I didn't even realize that. He has the logo on his calf. He's a real team player. That got him a 40? That was better than what I did? I don't believe that. I don't believe that one bit. We finished in last place because they gave 40 to Paolo. Oh, this is rigged. This is rigged. I don't believe it. That is absolutely absurd they gave him a 40 there. We're not going to play this game, but we are going to simcast it and maybe jump in and play a little bit of it since it is the all-star game. Oh, Eastern Conference leading. It's technically not East versus West. It's Captain versus Captain. We're into the fourth quarter now. I don't know what the score is, so we're going to slow it down a little bit. And you know what? We're going to jump in and see what we can do here. I don't know who we're going to play as. Probably the team that's winning. <laughs> so the target score is 126. Let me make sure that I'm on the right team. I want to be on this team. <laughs> I want to be on the Eastern Conference team so I can win. All right, they have on defense here LeBron with the shot no good rebound Robertson has it to Elgin Baylor oh my god that might have been the greatest dunk I've ever witnessed in my entire existence on Mother Teresa's earth what in the heck did we just witness from Mr. Elgin Baylor what did you just do? Wow. Is that even humanly possible? <laughs> wow, that was a crazy dunk. It looks even crazier from far away. What an absolutely insane dunk from Elgin Baylor and the look on his face is priceless that is crazy what a dunk <laughs> all right it is 115 to 110 score is 126 T-Mac with the jumper no good Chamberlain with the board he's got 15 5 and 7 let's just say he is cooking uh, Elgin he's got the moves Elgin to the basket no good McAdoo with the rebound he's got 17 and 6 there's Wilt. Let's get him some more points. Oh, Wilt just absolutely bodied Larry Bird. Absolutely bodied him. 11 assists for the big O. Can I get a steal here? Swiper no swiping? Yes, I can. Swiper no swiping. Coast to coast. Oscar Robertson misses McAdoo with the rebound and the putback. It's 119-110. Okay, we are looking pretty good for a big time fat W. Even though I didn't really even play this game too much. <laughs> I just jumped in last minute. That's a T-Mac shot. That's no good. Chamber with another rebound. McAdoo across court to Baylor. Mid-range. No good. I was Oh, Baylor got the rebound. I didn't expect that. Oh, but I passed it. I don't know what was happening here. Uh, let's get Isaiah Thomas in. Let's get Gilbert Arenas in. Let's get Vince Carter in. Let's get... Kevin Garnett in, and let's get let's keep Wilt in. We can keep Wilt in. It's fine. Oscar, that was supposed to go to Wilt. I should have icon passed it. All right, there's a foul. That'll get everybody in. All right, we got some big players in here now. Some of the all-time greats. That's going to be an inbound to Kareem. 
I really should have paid attention to who the teams were. <laughs> Magic, D. Wade. Let's get on D. Wade. He's probably going to shoot that. He's going to drive in on Gilbert. Oh, you can't drive in on Gilbert. He's too lethal. Oh, that's another steal. Team Dr. J are playing very tough. Wade down low to Bird. Chamberlain, good defense, and that's another rebound. Chamberlain's got like five rebounds since we've been in this game. VC going on Dominique, and he couldn't get the bucket. All right, we've started to cool down a little bit since uh, that opening just onslaught of points we had. Vince Carter going to put it up. No, that's blocked by Dominique. That should be... Our ball still, and it means that Wes Unsell gets to come in, so that's cool. Get that to KG. He's on Scotty. Scotty's a good defender, but he can't back down Kevin Garnett. He didn't get to play against a guy like Actually, he probably did get to play against KG. Because Scotty played till like the 2000s, early 2000s. So, Oh, that's a Wade mid-range. 121-114, Isaiah Thomas. I wanted to pass that down low to Vince Carter, but Magic stole it before I could. Dominique, is he going to shoot the three? He is. That's no good. Carter with the rebound. We just need a few more buckets to put this game out of commission. Vince Carter for three. That was a bad shot. Did nobody tell me that Vince Carter couldn't shoot that? I'm going to let Wade step up and take this. Take it, Wade. No good. That's what I thought. Vince Carter to KG to Gilbert. Big Gil. That's Wes. Wes can't go up against Kareem. KG mid-range bucket. There it is. 123-114. We just need a three ball to end this game and get out of here with a big fat double U. Scotty gives it to Wade. I'll back up on Wade again. Oh, I don't believe in him. I'm not going to have to because he's going to slam it over my head. Okay, all right, whatever, whatever, whatever. It's all right. It ain't no thing thing. Isaiah Thomas, I'm going to look for Gilbert for three to end the game. Gunshots, it's over. 126-116. Team Oscar Robertson wins. I wish they would fix the glitch where the teams wear the opposite jerseys is what the color is. And it looks like Bob McAdoo gets, gets All-Star Game MVP. I'd give it to Elgin Baylor just for that dunk alone, but whatever. Congratulations to Mr. McAdoo. McAdoo. And it looks like he's behind him. He's clapping for himself. Look at that. That, okay, maybe he does deserve to have the MVP, the five, the uh, All-Star Game MVP, if he claps for his own performance. He had 19-7. I don't know. I'd give it to Elgin Baylor, but that's just me. Whatever, it doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. All right, so we've got to focus on the regular season because we've got a big-time gap to fill. Three and a half games behind the Nuggets. We play them one more time April 6th. That's going to be when we play our next game. So let's simulate a few more weeks, see what we got. We need some big-time Ws. Yes, I'd like to stop simulating because I need to see if we have any contract extensions. Uh, can we re-sign anybody? Not eligible. Not eligible. Nobody's eligible. Okay, we got a lot of guys that are not eligible for for contracts. That's very interesting. And it kind of scares me. Let's get some Ws. Let's get some Ws. There's a 1. There's a 2. There's a 3. There's a 4. There's a 5. There's a 6. There's a 7. There's all. Oh, 7 game win streak though is not bad. And we're 3 and a half games back to the Nuggets. They are absolutely monstrous right now. Can't be stopped. Oh, we can't have these losses, though. There's some big wins. Okay, we're getting them. There we go. 52 and 24. They've clinched a, a spot. We've clinched a spot in the actual playoffs, but we're still two games back. This game against them is going to be absolutely crazy big. That's two big games. We're half a game back. If we win this game next episode against the Nuggets, then we will take over the one seed. And that'll be the actual legit on-screen debut of Luka Doncic in the game. He's played about two months of basketball with us since the trade deadline. But I didn't realize how big of a episode next episode's going to be. 
But with being a half a game back, we need to win this one. And then we need to go on and win the next three games to end the season so we can actually uh, keep the one seed. But that's going to be the next episode. Season three finale, regular season finale, will be next episode. Massive game. You don't want to miss it. If you enjoyed this one, though, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Join the Juice Club. Links are down below, as they always are, for the link to this playlist, for the links to my other channels. If you're curious, stop by over and give them a look. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching. I truly appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.